by re-signing with the Cannons for next year's season. That news should give the competition leaders a boost for their all-important game against Melbourne tonight. If they win, they'll take the minor premiership for 1989. Any doubts whether basketball had reached the big league were erased this week at the news conference to announce the re-sign of Phil Smythe. Before opting to stay with the Cannons, the Australian captain says significant financial carrots were on offer from rival clubs. The salary cap is at $260,000 and they're making the offices the, in excess of that. Um, I'm either going to be playing on my own or they're not going to have anyone else being paid. So that would be a, an unhappy environment for nine other players. Stability on and off the court are the ingredients to success, according to Smythe, and it's for these reasons, rather than financial attractions, which prompted the decision to stay. And for me, the, the strength in staying here, I guess, obviously the team is, is the priority. I mean, we have a great team, um, so you're happy with that, and shifting, you, you, you're going into the unknown. What is certain is the impact the man known as the General has on the cannons. Smythe, oh, kicks it on ahead. He's got Atkinson on his right. That's him. Oh! Resigning the rest of the side will take place after the finals. But Smythe's decision to stay expected to act as a catalyst. In the interim, the focus is clearly on tonight's game against the Melbourne Tigers. The game is the last before the finals, but the Cannons currently lying on top of the NBL. The Melbourne Tigers, on the other hand, need to win to secure a place in the top three. And still on basketball, the North Melbourne Giants last night assured themselves of a top two place with a 39-point win over the Newcastle Falcons. As predicted, North Melbourne proved too strong for Newcastle, posting their seventh win in a row. The Giants powered to a 20-point lead in just seven minutes and kept the lead throughout. Australian centre Ray Borner led the way with 26, while Tim Dillon topped the scoring with 31. Falcons just couldn't repeat their scoring spree of last week against Sydney, while for the Giants, form under the basket proved no problem. At half time, they were ahead 80 points to 60. The final two terms saw much of the same, North Melbourne increasing their lead to 40. The Falcons managed at times to find the basket. But it was the skills of last year's grand finalists which totally dominated their opponents. Both inside and outside the key. North Melbourne have now cemented a top two position on the NBL ladder, leaving them with a 17-7 win-loss record. So North Melbourne looking good, Adelaide withholding a late burst by the Hawks and the Hobart Devils finishing the season on a high with a 22-point win over the Supercats. Third players sixth and fourth players fifth.